A live picture tonight from Times Square tells the story best. It is normally packed, but there you see it virtually empty at this hour. These are some of the strictest rules the tri-state has ever seen. And tonight, all three governors are closing movie theaters, bars, casinos, and gyms indefinitely. All New Jersey schools will shut down starting Wednesday. And on a national level, President Trump is recommending gatherings of 10 or more people for at least the, the next 15 days. You keep those numbers below 10, he says. There are now 950 confirmed coronavirus cases in New York State. That is the most in the country. Country, 463 in the city, 220 in Westchester. In New Jersey, there are 178 confirmed cases, and Connecticut has 41. Those numbers and growing concerns surrounding the virus forced all three governors to join forces today. Effective at 8 p.m. tonight, restaurants and bars across the tri state closed in person dining only allowing takeout and delivery. Movie theaters, gyms, and casinos are also closed. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live in Hell's Kitchen now with more for us. Alice. Maurice, there are some people out and about here tonight in Hell's Kitchen, but there's really nowhere for them to go. You can see behind me this bar, Mickey Spillane's, is shut down. The restaurant next to that also closed. You can see just a few people out walking at this hour. You know, earlier tonight, we did see quite a few people in the bars before that 8 p.m. in person shutdown, and then they were swiftly kicked out of those establishments. Also, we were talking to some delivery people, and despite what you might think, they say they are not yet seeing an increase in orders. Once 8 p.m. neared, Shut it down. Shut it down. people were asked to leave bars and restaurants. Others were turned away. You need to go at this point. This is Some closed even earlier, unclear when and if they'll be back in business. Restaurants like Taladwat on 9th Avenue are shutting down entirely for now. We just want to kind of stop the bleeding a little bit right now, just to kind of assess the situation with like clear, with clear minds and, and then see what we can do. Before closing its doors, an act of kindness, they donated all remaining food to anyone walking by. Just figured, you know what, this is the right thing to do at this time. Some uh, spicy spare ribs and uh, British short ribs. It's really nice. And it's it's nice spicy. Spicy. You know? it's like everybody's in panic and these guys are actually doing something good. But they're helping us. It's, it's good to spread love. Some other people we spotted were getting last minute workouts in before the 8 o'clock gym closures and also freezing their gym memberships. What are you going to do now? Uh, right now, um, I have dumbbells in my apartment, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> people who own or work in restaurants, bars, gyms, they are all worried. We are seeing working people with much less money in their pockets and tremendous fear about what's going to happen next. There should be at least a little sense of relief that the House of Representatives acted on Friday, but it is not enough. We need more. For now, they say to keep helping, keep ordering. Stay home and order from your f favorite restaurant, order from your favorite bar. Empanada Mama, which operates 24 hours a day, is changing its hours. And if people don't do delivery, may also have to shut down altogether too. If that's as slow as we're predicting, hopefully not, um, we're gonna cancel that as well, unfortunately. We'll call, take out, anything really helps, honestly. The city is suspending its crackdown of e-bikes because they recognize how important deliveries are going to be in the coming days. One thing the city has yet to suspend to suspend is alternate side parking. That is still in effect for tomorrow and has a lot of people scratching their heads. Tonight, the mayor's office says it has made no decision about suspending it as of yet. We are live in Hell's Kitchen. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.